Welcome back to Cleveland on the Rocks. Hey, Liza Bourbon Bar. And I'm Matt. And that's Jay. And you know what? It's Taco Tuesday. We got a bottle straight from Indonesia. It's called Drum Whiskey. Alright guys, welcome back. We got our bottle of drum whiskey. Now, in Indonesia, they have a very select few bottles that my dad looks at all the time. He's like, which bottle can I get from Matt? And he was like, you know what, Matt? I'm going to get you this drum whiskey. And we got drum whiskey. So if you guys have ever seen this anywhere, we're going to let you know if you should buy it or not. Because I don't know too much about it. Is that available in the state too, though? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think it is. Because you have to get this like crazy cool Indonesian tag to go out of the country with it and they give you this little super cool tag that looks like their money type stuff and it's got the Indonesia thing on it with some numbers and letters that I have no idea what it means. It means some kind of Indonesian whiskey type talk. So that's what it is. I've got enough other stuff from Indonesia here. Why can't we have the whiskey? Right, so we might as well drink their whiskey, right? So basically this one's not, get don't have a cork. So uh, it's got a screw off top. I tried to cut the side off of it so we can keep this cool tag because my dad was there and he's there now. But uh, hopefully he's going to pick me up something super cool there again. Ooh, that's... Ooh, what in the hell? Smells like glue and something else. Weird. Why well, does smell maple a little bit? I Is hope. it just me? Oh, hope so. <laughs> so... They come in these, I, I, I don't know the, all the sizes that stuff comes in in Indonesia. Um, from what I understand, they have the Johnny Walkers over there. They have a handful of different ones. And uh, then they have Drum Whiskey. And you know what? I always like the weird ones. I'm like, give me the one that nobody else knows about. Because I feel like that's going to be awesome. So we got this super cool little bottle of Drum Whiskey that's not open. So all you guys that know me can come and try this. This is going to be cool. Matt, do you know why they call it drum whiskey? Is this made in a drum versus a barrel? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds legit, though. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. What is with. that scent? Uh, it it smells it's, a little mapley to me. It does. I wonder if these are in maple barrels from, like, Canada or something. Ooh, that's different. It does different. smell Canadian. It does, it does have a hint of, like, a Canadian whiskey yeah. smell on it. Right in that do crown smell? area. Oh, they spell whiskey without the E, and it's out of the country. That's weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It says drum whiskey, oak aged drum whiskey. Okay, so this is aged in oak barrels. It's probably not new white oak barrels, so this is probably like a used barrel, I would assume. <laughs> I would have to assume, because if not, well... Wow, it's got some legs on it. Yeah. That's I didn't crazy. At first, it took a minute for me to leave it tilted there. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, yeah, it kind of runs down. Actually, it, it yeah. runs down your glass decently nice. It's not an it's really light off though. thing. Very it light. is. Kind of looks like apple juice. Definitely does not smell like apple not juice, but like it smells. It. All right, you get an almost maple cake smell to yeah. it, like a sponge cake. You know, like a hint of orange. If I if I had to guess, if I you'd pour this for me and I didn't know what this was, I, I would I would think like somewhere in that Canadian thing, like uh, yeah, it does. Like a like a base crown, like yep. the Royal one. I would yeah, I would say this smells I'm curious similar. now. And it's right in that proof, that eighty proof area. That's is, right up my alley. She's right in Jay's wheelhouse and I'm like, yeah. you know what? Jay's gonna love this. It's gonna be great. You ready? I'm ready to try this. Alright man, cheers. Cheers to you guys out there. What is that? It's almost floral. Yes, I was just gonna say it tastes nothing like it smells. So, a little sour afterward. It, uh, it hits you with a weird, that's so different. Okay, so basically, wow, it's peppermint at the end. That's what that is at the end, is a weird pepperminty minty taste. I don't know where that's coming from, this is weird. Okay, Valentine's Day, go into the flower store, get your wife some flowers, right? So when you walk in there, you smell the flowers. Now, you taste them in your mouth, and you're like, that's what this is. Not like a Four Roses floral, but this is a very different... Uh, Fresh floral out the floral store. It's reminding me of something else. I, I just can't pin on it. It finishes with like a robitussin -y mint taste at the end. Almost like a mint cough drop. And 
Wow, that's very, very different. Even though we said this was in my wheelhouse, this I'm is not in your wheelhouse. This gonna is gonna tell you that uh, medicinal this, mint. This is not what I was thinking mm. it was gonna be. No, it's it's almost too light, and it doesn't have a barrel taste like I'm looking for. No, there's no so, smoke to it whatsoever. It's just the lightest of light things. I it's wonder a if good this, mixer, like to mix with something. You'd like, have to, to, to yeah. pull something. Because I, I honestly, I'm gonna tell you. It's not horrible. What if I smoke yeah. this? Oh, now well, that might work. This might be one of those things that I smoke that I think is really good because I like the mashes smoked. The yeah. clear mashes from like Buffalo Trace. I love those smoked. I'll drink a glass of it smoked. But I don't know if I'd drink a glass of this. I mean, there's enough for two glasses in that little bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool bottle, though. I just, I just want to shout out to my dad out there. Thank you so much for bringing this back. This is super killer. It's always nice to try something that's nothing like what we've ever had before. This is very, very different. Um, it's not bad by any stretch. Um, it's not aged long enough for me. It doesn't have the smoke that I'm looking for when I'm looking into a whiskey or a bourbon. And it's a weird medicinal mint taste off of a flower, <laughs> flower yes. beginning in it. Now that I'm smelling it, I'm smelling that taste. Yep. I don't know what that is. I just, yeah, I can't nail it. What it is? Do I, I dare know. Let's put? Let's try this again. My third drink, a drop of ice in it. Hmm. I didn't save a whole lot for that, but. Okay, the second taste gets better. He does. Wow, it's very, very minty, and the floral went away almost. That's very different. I'm still let's, in the floral. Let's actually just put a piece of ice in here and see what the hell happens. That one's glued to the oh, other one since okay. we uh, had things. I don't want it to get too cold. You're good. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll try mine. Huh? I'm going to try it before it gets too cold. Yeah, cheap. let's do that. Cheers, guys. Okay. Now you're. Ooh. Oh, wow. With the ice, that different, really opens it up to the flavor, point. Different flavor, yes. That's really good. I can handle it more with the ice. Is I like that, it chilled. Oh, wow. That Maybe not is. even the ice, just a chilled glass. Oh, yeah. Frozen Glen Caron would be perfect yep. for this. In. Yeah, just Definitely the, the cold the taste. would be... Yeah, maybe a drop of water or two. It might open this up to the point where it would be yep. good. Then it's not so bad. So the floralness, yeah. when it does have a piece of ice in it, goes away for me. And then it welcomes in a nice little toasted Whoa. taste. Yep. Uh, it finishes still with that mint. That mint is still there for me. It's very prominently in the back. Um, you, you taste what you smelled. I think is it a mint smell? That yeah. might be what that is. Because I'm, I was smelling it and smelling it and trying to figure this out for the life of me, and I could not put anything to it. Um, yeah, at first I smelled like a weird sponge cake to it, and after that it just totally went to a whole different direction. Started with a weird floralness. Maybe this needs to open for a minute. Oh, that could be the case, too. I feel like because it was in our glass for long enough, we did put water in it, too, but maybe it just needs to open a little while. You put water in Oh, the ice. Yeah, the ice will water it down a little bit and give yeah. you a little cold chill to it. It's not bad by any stretch. Like, I wouldn't say this is bad. Um, I think my dad came back and told me that this was, like, $8. So, honestly, when you're spending $8 on a whiskey, I don't think your expectations are, like, through the roof of going to something crazy. But let me just tell you that this doesn't let you down either. This is on the lighter side. This would be something I would give to people that do not drink the 120 proof high smoked everything stuff that I do. And I feel like people would like this. Honestly, I think this is light enough to where people will like this. And I will be sharing this with people that do come to the bar here in the next couple weeks while I still have it. Hopefully my dad can get me another one because he's out there. And I feel like this is a cool bar piece that people would talk about. You know what I'm saying? It's like something different. When I go to your house or go to the bar or go to this, no one's ever going to have this. I just think it's super cool. I don't know that you can get it online. I have no idea. From what my dad told me, the conversion rate gets you down to about $8, somewhere around there. So it's called Drum Whiskey. Comes with a super cool Indonesian tag on the top of it. And what is the proof on this one? 43%, so 86 proof. So it's a very it's on the lighter side for me. I do think it's not bad at all. I will actually drink this with people that come over here. So especially with my birthday coming up, you guys come over for my birthday, we're gonna try this and it's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna give you some whiskeys from around the world because I have one. <laughs> and I feel like that's the start of our tour. <laughs> and then we come back to America and do the thing big, you know. Yeah. But uh 
yeah, I always think it's super cool to try stuff that's on the shelf that you've never seen before, never heard of before. And if you don't want to try it, pick it up for me and I'll drink it. I think it's super cool. And I like to drink stuff like that. That's super weird. And I like to share it with all kinds of other people too. So that'd be awesome. So hopefully you guys are drinking with us while you're watching us. Doing the big thing with the international whiskeys at this point. Because that's what we're doing. So we're super get, cool. We need and to get another one try. Right? We, sh we should. We need yeah. to get one from like India. And we need to get one from like Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Saudi Do some like crazy weird. ones. Yeah. That'd be cool. That would be cool. If y'all know of any kind of weird stuff that we should look up and buy, let us know. We do have some really cool stuff coming up from Mexico that has their different various tequila worms and mezcals with scorpions and this. And we're going to do some big cool things coming up here. So stay tuned. We're good on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. Catch us and lives. We'll be doing those soon too. So hopefully y'all are drinking while you're watching us. If you're not at home, don't be drinking and driving, man. Do the thing. Get home safe. Uber. Lift, do your thing, get home, and make sure you like, share, subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebooks, all them things. Get you a shirt, man, so people could be like, hey, they got a Cleveland on the Rock shirt. Where did they get that from? And then send them a link and let them get a shirt too. And then just pass that thing around and keep going. Do the thing, big, so we can afford more bottles. Gifts. I had to put new shelves up to get all these bottles on shelves. So y'all help me out here. That'd be super cool. We'll see you guys next time.